Derek. Thank you. OK. So I'm going to talk quickly for 10 minutes about internet marketing, how to make money from the internet, doing nothing. Who would be interested in knowing a little bit of information about how to make money from the internet? Um, the reason I'm qualified to talk about this is because this is what I do. This is what I've been doing for about a year now, and it's going rather well. And the interesting thing is that I started learning about marketing, internet marketing, you know, business systems, when I came to Yes Group. And who was here when Mark Anastasi spoke about a year ago or two years ago? Yeah, great. So I was sat in the back and I was listening to Mark, and he really inspired me to start some internet businesses, which is exactly what I did, and it's been going fantastic. So who here is self-employed? Uh, who here, as well as that, might like to be self-employed in the future, or maybe has been self-employed in the past? So um, uh, apart from that, maybe if you are employed, who here would like to be employed, plus have an internet business that makes money for you doing zero effort? Okay, so this basically covers everybody in the room. So, so let me tell you what I've done. Um, uh, one year ago, I started an internet website that sells video guitar lessons because I've always been a guitarist since I was quite young and that was my skill, that was my expertise. So it suddenly clicked one day that if I could video myself doing this and put it onto a website then people could download this, my video guitar lesson and pay for it without me having to actually do anything. And that's what I did and it worked perfectly. I was blown away but it's, it's been a tremendous success. So. What I want to really do right now is give you some good value and hopefully inspire some ideas that maybe you can go away and do something um, for yourself like that. Because the way I see it is this. There's two avenues you can go down. You can either take an area of expertise that you've already got, something that you already know about, and you can make that into a useful information product that can be put on a website. Maybe it would be an e-book, which is just a document that you can teach people your useful information. Maybe it would be audio of you talking, maybe it would be video of you talking. But, but anyway, what, what we're talking about here is really the information, you know, they say we're in the information age or the education age. So what we're talking about is creating an internet website that teaches people useful information. So you can either do something that you already know about and you're already an expert in, or you can go and find out what people are looking for. You can find a niche, and there's ways of doing that. It's very simple. And you can identify people are looking for how to train their parrot to talk. If I go and find the information of how to do that and I sell it to them, then there's an opportunity for me, for me to make money. Okay, so you don't have to be an expert in anything already. You don't really have to have a skill. You don't have to have any knowledge. All you've got to do is be the connection between the people that have got that need or that desire or that frustration or that problem for that information and connect it with the solution and sell them the solution. Okay, so this is, this is the great thing about the internet. You can very easily connect to millions of people all over the world and sell them stuff. <laughs> so just to give you an idea, my guitar lesson website has got 30,000 students on it now, and I've done that within 10 months, which is cool. Yeah, thank you. So, yeah. So that's not the only website I've got because you know I'm addicted to it now. It's rather fun. I kind of like the idea of doing nothing and making money. So you know I'm, I'm starting as many websites as I can now. So the question you can be asking yourself is, what do, what do, what are people looking for? What are people frustrated about? What problems have people got? What needs have they got? What do people want? And if you start brainstorming these ideas, then you can start to identify solutions. For, for, for those problems. This is the way of thinking. This is the contribution way of thinking, as opposed to how can I make money way of thinking. So I don't know how much more time I've got, but I'll tell you just a, a few little interesting things about marketing that, that might be useful for you to know. What, one of the most useful phrases I ever learned, now I don't care what business you're in, whether you are, I don't know whether you're a property uh, you know, developer, or maybe you're a coach, or an NLP practitioner, maybe you've got a shop, whatever you do, I, I think this information will be useful to you. Whenever people see your advertisement, or your website, or your business card, or your poster, what they're thinking is this, so what, who cares what's in it for me? That's all that people are ever thinking. Okay? Now, now most people with businesses don't, they forget this. They think that people are interested in their business. Nobody cares about your business. They just want a solution that's going to enrich their life. 
So remember, people are thinking, so what, who cares, what's in this for me? And usually you've got about three seconds to convince them on, on the internet. So, so bear that in mind. Now, here's something really quick that can really make a difference to your business. Uh, you might be familiar with this concept already, um, and that is autoresponders. And what that is, it's absolutely vital with marketing to build a mailing list of, of clients, customers, prospects. The, the number one rule that I stick to with anything I do is get their name and email address as fast as you can. If you've got to give them something free for it, then so be it. You know, usually you've got to tempt them with something. You know, give me your name and email address and I'll give you my free newsletter or my free report or this free bit of advice or whatever. But that is absolutely crucial because when you've got their name and email address, you can contact them regularly and automatically with an autoresponder. And you can create a newsletter or a, or a weekly thought for the day or a, or a weekly bit of useful information. And what this does, every time you send an email to them, every seven days or maybe every month, hi, it's me again, I've got a bit of useful free information for you. What you're doing is building rapport and trust with your clients without you actually having to do it. Um, so that's the power of an autoresponder. Um, so, like I say, any business, I don't care whether you're running a building company or whether you're an NLP coach or whatever, if you can contact people regularly and contribute something useful, some little bit of useful information, it's going to build trust, it's going to build rapport with them, and what, what the, the, the marketeer gurus tell us, the scientific marketeers, they tell us that people quite often will only buy after they've heard from you about a dozen times, or maybe seven to 10 times. So often one contact isn't enough. So for those people that have got a website or a shop or something like that, uh, if, you know, if, there's, if, people, if customers are seeing your website once, that might not be enough. If you have their name and email address, contact them several times, that would likely be enough to, to sell them on your product. So I think I've um, pretty much used up all my time. That's my 10 minutes. So I hope that's been useful to you. Thanks for listening.